Hi, it's Shu, and uh, this is day one. It's uh, around 3 a.m. on 5th April. It's uh, actually in the midnight, and I I finished shooting on the day zero, day nil video in uh, 3.30 minutes ago. And uh, yeah, today I will study Dutch. Yeah, from now on. By the way, you know, I'm so much exhausted because uh, there is corona going on uh, not so many shops are running um, Hopefully in Japan there is no quarantine but uh, most of my friends are staying at home so I can't do anything but fishing or studying or something like that But the good news is, uh, you know, Dutch Wakers, Dutch Wakers, uh, one of my fa favorite DJs have released a good track called Moscow Remix and I'm I'm really happy to hear that finally anyways let's start You know, you know, um, probably I gotta stop listening, uh, hearing a uh, ADM because uh, that makes me distracted. <laughs> For day one, this is divided into seven parts. Uh, firstly, uh, I need to pick up the general information of Dutch, and secondly, I need to set a goal and uh, I need to um, draw a roadmap to that, and thirdly, uh, I need to make probably the words list. Uh, the the vocals are most important one I think and the fourth uh, is a grammatical one it, you know um it's difficult to memorize the whole grammar so I need to pick up uh, the several important grammar to have a conversation at least and then fifth it's a uh, I need to choose YouTube video that I'm going to use um as a dictation or speech practice and sixth is a website. Um, I need to pick up some websites to yeah study. And seventh uh, and lastly, uh, I need to make a schedule schedule uh, for around thirty days. And uh, this is probably good to go. Yeah. So I'm looking for uh, general info uh, in uh, Wikipedia, on the, which I don't trust usually, but uh, this time it's it works probably. And it's obviously Dutch is close rel relatives to English and German, and uh, this can be my advantage, of course. And uh, this is spoken in several um, countries. Oh yeah, that is one of the most clo one of the closest relatives of both German and English. Okay, roughly in between them. Okay, yeah. But anyways, it's in the West West Germanic language. Okay, right. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, it has dialect, of course, and grammar. Yeah, grammar. I need to see that. Dutch is grammatically similar to German. Yeah. Okay. So um, basically, I caught the general information, and uh, okay, I'll explain. Generally, um, it has two genders, which is a bad news um, for English speakers probably. And it has strong and weak verbs, and uh, I don't know exactly what it means, but I will find out probably. And there is no case, which is good news. Yeah, it, yeah actually the case is used, but it's largely fallen down, or like English, it is says in Wikipedia. But yeah anyways there is no case and it's a v2 word order uh which means it's close to german the verb comes second in the sentence i guess and there is components like german uh components means uh, the several words are joined together to make one long word like uh, like baumkuchen like that probably and uh, there is french influence in the vocabulary uh which is good news for me anyways that's all for the general information so i just draw the roadmap to the goal which is um obviously the basic conversation so um actually what i need to do is um uh, the vocabs or uh, memorizing vocabs and uh i need to do a speaking lesson of course and a listening lesson of course and uh, a little bit of grammar i think 
So uh, what I'm going to do is the vocals firstly, um, probably repeatedly I need to practice the vocals, which is the most important one, I guess. And the uh, grammar is uh, rather limited, but uh, I will do in the second place. And thirdly, I will practice listening, and then followed by speaking. And uh, I will do a bit of writing as a kind of supportive element of speaking. And uh, I will put reading as a supportive element of vocabs. So, yeah, but anyways, um, how can I do speaking without a yeah, real person? But yeah, anyways, probably I can manage to do that. Alright, um, I listed up the basic vocabs. Uh, what I need to do, right? So, um, I've listed up the basic vocabs on the Google spreadsheet. Um, these are the list of words that I use many times during a conversation in every language, and it's divided into five words basic vocabs, like one, two, three, four, five, like, anyways, and uh, nouns like game, train, man, women, politics, economy, like like that. And the verbs are a bit short, of, I guess, but yeah, I will add some of them. And I put adverb and adjectives on the list, and then prepositions like with, without, or something like that. Anyways, it took lots of time, but uh, I need to count it, and probably I need to add it sometimes. So. But anyways, it's almost uh, 4 a.m. in the same day, which means uh, one hour has passed and uh, I feel a bit sleepy, so I will go into bed and uh, I will do the vocabs. I will complete this tomorrow and uh, I need to do the grammar and video website schedule tomorrow. Yeah, in two hours. Yeah, I gotta make it. So, good night. So it's actually uh, the next day. Um, uh, it's uh, 17 p.m. on the 5th April. So um, I will continue studying for the um, strategy part, and I'm gonna do um, the to-do list completed. I was looking for the website that I can use to uh, learn Dutch and uh, I found some freemium type uh, which I can't use basically because uh, there is no budget obviously so um, there is one very specific Dutch grammar site website and uh, I think the user interface is not so good by the way but uh, there is obviously so many um, informations about Dutch grammar, which can be helpful in the last. And of course, the dictionary, I can't use a paper dictionary, but um, I basically use a Google translation. But uh, this seems to be, oh, it's from DeepL, DeepL, uh, which was famous for kind of the translation. Is it kind of startup product or something like that? But anyways, yeah, it seemed to be um, very... Yeah, it contains a lot of information about grammar. So that's why I use this website for the dictionary. And for YouTube, I found this do you want to start learning? Yes, of course. And it's thousand most common words in Dutch. Like, Dutch. probably some of the words is meaningless. You know, wait, an online called 1000 most common words in, okay. words in Dutch. And you see the translation. English, the core to check the every lesson, the words with the vocabulary. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's the introduction. So. Hi there, my name. Yeah, seems to be good. And uh, it's really good. So, I'm gonna use it for kind of vocabulary buildings. But uh, you know, I've made some vocab list 
ready so this u2 must be kind of supportive for my vocabulary at least and also oh, this is easy easy dutch um i've seen uh, easy german course several times and uh, easy french as well this is really helpful for beginners to understand what it sounds like hi yeah, yeah this is just basic phrases but probably contains a lot of complicated <laughs> phrases as well yeah i i really expect the complicated phrases as well because uh it's really natural and uh, it's really um precise i think basically i guess um what i'm going to do is uh to learn present tense and past tense and future tense, of course. And the passive can be used sometimes. And of course, conditional, like uh, if. And uh, if I've got the time, I will study present perfect as well. But yeah, mainly I will learn present and past and future, which must be the most important one. So the day one's list is almost done. Uh, finally I, I need to make a schedule and uh, also I need to make this list cleaner and easier to fairly understandable yeah I will remake this vocab list and of course the uh, schedule part so see you later I'm going to make a schedule uh, for my entire program and uh, which must be the most important one but uh, it uh, Probably I, I will change the schedule um, if I will find something missing on my strategy. I will change the schedule so that that, that can be quite quite flexible. But uh, I need to make schedule now. By the way, yeah, the reason why I close my car is that um, yeah, I basically don't like the kind of landscape with the car in closed. Uh, I just want to see the outside for sure. But, uh, it, you know, it's YouTube, um, in Japan, there are so many um, kind of video geeks who can easily guess the location of house, so that's why I close the curtain like this, uh, which really annoys me, because I really hate the curtain. I really want to see it outside. And I've got sad news as well. Uh, my colleague just told me, um, yeah, he will work at home from tomorrow so he will not come to our office which must be reasonable but uh, in case I need to work at home as well yeah if I can't go to the outside I mean if, if I can't go to the office I will probably much more exhausted in the future because I really love outside you know I hope I really hope this situation got better in the future well let's start So, um, three hours has passed and uh, I'm still tackling with the vocabs sheet which is really a um, tough game because uh, there are obviously uh, over 300 of vocabs that I need to remember in the first place so I'm gonna show So basically, um, this is my vocab list and I divided them into the basic one and, and the noun and the verb, adjective, adverb and preposition into one and uh, I put the color on it and also the small subgenres in the basic part as well on number, time, pronoun, interrogative, auxiliary well yeah, in the direction part I wrote many things on the color, basic phrases and so on, yeah so, um, I spent one hour for vocabs and I've got another two hours for discovery time one and then after that I've got another three hours for um, discovery time two so, um, which means I've got five hours of free time free time which means I, I can do anything what I want for touch so yeah, what should I do? But anyways, 
I'm basically um, curious about the pronunciation of Dutch and I've got no idea at all for the pronunciation. Firstly, I don't know how to pronounce V or V. I've got no idea. Yeah, let's make it clear. I'm gonna Google Rivier. Rivier. You might have a sentence right now is Rivier. How to pronounce river in Dutch? I could only find the French one, but I'm looking for Dutch one. Rivier. Rivier. What the? Is it American English or something? Yeah, like this. Rivier. 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 Probably that's not correct, right? Okay, forget a river. Probably that's gonna. Rivier. Gonna work, probably. So, my next concern is IJ. IJ sound. Like medicine. Medicine. IJ sound. I don't know how to pronounce IJ. So. The difference in the Dutch pronunciation between this letter combination and this letter combination. Okay. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. That's what we are going to discuss in this video. My name is Potter Park. Welcome to the new Dutch pronunciation okay, lesson. I know your name. So let's skip it. A Leiden. Oh, yeah. In this short phrase, you find the letter combination. Menner play in plus e and vowel sound. How are they pronounced? And what's the difference between them? If you watched more, Put the conclusion first! Hey Matt! Wow! Long vowel. Why did they always complicate it? Plus E literally E show. So, I want to know I the conclusion. And this is prima. And met you ook goed hoor. Ik ook goed hoor. Yeah yeah yeah. All must be er is the same as uh, Spanish. Ben om vijf uur. Vijf, A, A, oké. Ja, A, I've got answer right now. IJ must be A sound. I understand, I understood half the kind of pronunciation. Yeah, V is V like in English. R. R and A, E and V, or probably um, V or F in English. Anyways, I will find out. I'm a bit sleepy right now, and I'm gonna go to bed, and uh, probably I will discover more deeply um, into the Dutch language tomorrow morning. So, see you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow.